All right, let's have a look at these trigonometry questions. Okay, this question is a little bit challenging because why? Yeah, you can see they give us one quadrant. This is the second quadrant from 90 to 180. But this one is for the x. But if you see carefully, the information given here is 2x. So basically, we do not know where is the quadrant for angle of 2x. Okay, you cannot say um if this one is 90 to 180, then the 2x is it just time 2, then this one is 180 to 360 and so on. Yeah, we do not know because why? Because x can be 30 degree, then 2x is 60 degree. Then you realize both of them might fall in the same quadrant. So therefore, we do not know where is the 2x. So what we want to do is we definitely we need to change the cos 2x in, uh, into the x. Then we can draw the triangle. And from there, we can find the value of x without using the calculator. All right, so for cos 2x, all of us know cos 2x, basically, we have three choices in it. Um, we can do something like uh, cos square x minus sine square x. But definitely, I will not choose this one because it makes me more complicated. Or we can choose something like 1 minus 2 sine square x. Or uh, 2 cos square x minus 1. Okay, depend which one you like here but over here I will, I will choose the second one I find it uh, maybe slightly easier so therefore from here I have cos 2x equals to negative 5 over 30 so then this is 1 minus 2 sine square x equals to negative 5 over 13 okay then if you see carefully from now onwards I no longer have the angle of 2x I already changed them into the x here Okay, so what I want to do is I will just like move around, make the two sine square x become positive. Then this one move here will become plus, so it will become uh, 13 plus 5 is 18 over 30. All right, then I will divide 2, though, so I will get something like sine square x equals to 9 over 13. Okay, then what I want to do now is um, I will square it. So sine x basically will be square root positive negative 9 over 30 okay from here because my x you can see my x is in the second quadrant sine in the second quadrant from the add sugar to coffee you should know sine will be positive in the second quadrant isn't it so therefore here you have plus minus but over here i will only take the plus version so therefore i will say sine x equals to um, square root 9 over 30 all right, then I will draw the triangle over here in the second quadrant. So this one will be my second quadrant. Second quadrant will be from um, 90 to the 180. So my triangle will look like this. And this one will be the x. And si sine is basically is an opposite over hypotenuse in the net. So I know my opposite will be square root 9. And my hypotenuse will be square root 30. So if I want to find my adjacent here, which is my adjacent right so i will just do the square root hypotenuse square minus uh, opposite square in it so square root 13 square i get 30 and square root 9 square i will get minus 9 so basically this one i will get about uh square root 4 or which is 2 so this one will be 2 and square root 9 actually is equal to 3 also right so right now i can easily find my tangent x isn't it because my tangent is basically is opposite over ad, uh, adjacent by the way because this one is y exit right any value uh, this exit before the y exit right this one you cannot write 2 only this one should be negative 2 okay just imagine if this y exit yeah this any value at this uh, x exit here should be negative isn't it and then here will be positive because anything above the x exit here will be positive positive right so this one is positive 3, no problem. But this one should be negative 2. Okay, so opposite will be 3. Um, and then adjacent will be negative 2. So my final answer, I will just say is negative 3 over 2 for tangent x. Yeah, I hope you find this video helpful to you. This is how we solve this kind of um, double angle question and make it into the single uh, uh, x only and then we need to consider about which quadrant it is to choose either plus or minus and draw the triangle correctly then you should be able to get about this like three to four mark questions i hope you like this video see you guys in the next video bye bye